The A-10 Warthog, or Thunderbolt II, is the most legendary aircraft throughout decades of combat operations. In 2014, the USAF saw the first attempt to completely retire the A-10 to save $3.7 billion across the five-year Future Year Defense Program and another $500 million in cost avoidance for upgrades. But they wanted to support the new F-35 squadrons. Fast forward to 2022, and the A-10 is not only here to stay, but it's getting a raft of upgrades to keep it relevant for years to come. So, let's find out what features make the Hogs tusks sharp. Number 1. Game Changer The A-10 Warthog reflects the changing nature of warfare at the time. As the Vietnam conflict developed, it became apparent that the US military needed a new generation of ground attack aircraft. These birds must be faster and more robust to deliver firepower to the battlefield while evading enemy fire. The US Army solution was the development of a new generation of attack helicopter, beginning with the AH-1 Cobra and culminating years later with the AH-64 Apache. The Air Force had another idea and looked for a fixed wing solution. The existing prop-driven attack planes were woefully ill-suited, so they took things in a new direction. Enter the A-10 Warthog. Number 2. Unique Design The design of the A-10 Warthog is nearly unique. It reflects the aircraft's mission. The large wing area, large left and right ailerons, and high wing aspect ratio all contribute to the A-10's excellent maneuverability particularly at low speeds, 420 miles per hour. The A-10 is almost as long as it is wide, so the aircraft can land as close to the front line of battle as possible. The airframe is designed as a honeycomb structure, which decreases weight while adding strength. This allows the A-10 to fly further and longer in order to engage targets. Number 3. Unique Specifications the A-10 can operate underneath 1,000-foot ceilings with 1.5-mile visibility. This capability, combined with its long loiter time, give the Warthog its ground support capability that earns so much praise. The Warthog also has an internal fuel capacity of 10,000 gallons, giving the A-10 an 800-mile range. The Warthog's fuel cells self-seal and are protected by anti-explosion foam on the inside and the outside. Number 4. Recent Upgrades As the A-10 is expected to be kept in service towards 2035, central to the upgrades is the need to be survivable in a contested environment. This involves Warthog pilots evading threats through the additional use of standoff weapons from longer ranges, combined with the use of updated tactics. The Air Force plans to give its Warthogs new wings as Boeing received a $1.1 billion contract to provide 173 sets of wings in 2019. The A-10 also gets GBU-39 small diameter bombs and new high-resolution display system, which is an 11.6, 1920x1080 pixel multifunction color display that replaces the cockpit's central six-pack of analog instruments with a digital primary flight display. This will display high-definition targeting pod footage and a new map engine. Other plans include adapting CSAR tactics and engaging maritime targets with AGR-20 Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System rockets. A-10 also introduced the first phase of engaging multiple targets with precision-guided munitions. It allowed six weapons to be dropped with a single pickle button press. The aircraft can send weapons to different targets with one button push on one pass, whereas before it took a lot of pilot workload. A-10 pilots can employ 500-pound class GBU-38 or 54 or 2,000-pound class GBU-31 joint direct attack munitions, and the aircraft will inform the pilot if they can hit all their intended targets on a single run. Number 5. Dogfight Winner In case of a dogfight, 
the A-10 also carries a pair of AIM-9M Sidewinder missiles. AIM-9s are infrared-guided weapons with a range of 22 miles, giving the Warthog the punch it needs to engage an enemy fighter at a distance. The combination of the A-10's tight turn radius and AIM-9s make for a frightening one-two punch for aggressive enemy fighters. If an enemy jet finds itself in close quarters with an A-10, it's left to choose between two difficult options. You can try to outturn the A-10 and fire your weapons before it can, or you can turn tail and run The problem is, if you turn and run, you're flying right into the heat-seeking Sidewinder's trap. Number 6. Highway Operation Right, the A-10 was designed to undertake just these kinds of missions as part of its requirement to keep fighting on the Cold War era battlefield. It's optimized for short takeoffs and landings, and its landing gear boasts low-pressure tires for operating from highways and even rougher non-standard surfaces. So in 2021, four A-10C Warthog attack aircraft and a pair of C-146A Wolfhound Special Operations transports took part in the road landing drill, which is a part of the wider exercise Northern Strike. This is believed to be the first time in history that modern Air Force aircraft have intentionally landed on a civilian roadway in the United States. Number 7. Famous Shark Teeth It's only the 74th and 75th and 76th Fighter Squadron at Moody Air Force Base that fly with shark's teeth. There are other ASEN units that have nose art, but not the iconic shark face. Its iconic design is directly tied to their history and heritage as the original three Flying Tigers squadrons of the 23rd Fighter Group. Flying Tigers is the American Volunteer Group, which was commanded by Claire Lee Chenault and defended China against the Japanese prior to America's entry into World War II. The group was organized into the Chinese Air Force and flew under the flag of the Republic of China. It was only active for about a year before it was disbanded, but in that time, it destroyed 297 enemy aircraft, according to the United States Air Force. Number 8. Titanium Bathtub One of the most interesting A-10 facts deals with its armor. The skin of the aircraft is not structural, and any damage done to it does not compromise the heavily reinforced airframe. The cockpit and flight control functions are the most heavily protected. These are surrounded by 12,000 pounds of titanium aircraft armor in a configuration lovingly referred to as the titanium bathtub. Angled to deflect incoming fire, this armor has a nearly flawless track record for keeping pilots safe. Combined with the windscreen and canopy, which are also resistant to small arms fire, the total armor on the aircraft makes up just over 7% of its empty weight. Interestingly enough, the A-10 is so well armored that it can fly through supercell thunderstorms. The Air Force even uses the A-10 Warthog to monitor severe weather systems. Number 9. The Heaviest Automatic Cannon the 30mm GAU-8A Avenger rests in front of the aircraft. The front landing gear retracts from under the wings in an offset position, with the rear wheels in line with the fuselage. This setup allows room for the massive weapon. The barrel of the GAU-8A extends out from the nose of the A-10. It is the heaviest automatic cannon ever mounted on an aircraft. The Gatling gun accounts for 16% of the A-10's weight. The GAU-8A is manufactured to fire high-explosive incendiary and armor-piercing depleted uranium rounds at a rate of 3,900 rounds per minute. These bullets are about the size of beer bottles. When pilots fire the Gatling gun, it heats up quickly and cannot fire for more than a few seconds at a time. And finally, number 10, VR Pilots Training. Some of the A-10 Warthog pilots are now training, in part, using a literal computer game, albeit a highly sophisticated and realistic one, known as Digital Combat Simulator World, more commonly referred to simply as DCS. The 355th Training Squadron at Davis-Monthan Air Force Base in Arizona 
is using DCS together with commercially available virtual reality headsets and other gaming peripherals to provide a low-cost way of augmenting more traditional training regimens on the ground and in the air. Whoever is flying the mock warthog then goes about performing various simulated tasks with other personnel in an adjacent control center managing the entire scenario. Training includes all aspects of operating the A-10 to include, but not limited to, ground operations, start taxi takeoffs, landings, formation flying, weapons employment, and other critical capabilities. Still, despite claims of being vulnerable to modern air defenses, the aircraft's combination of heavy armor, endurance, low-speed agility, and formidable firepower still make it a terrifying presence for opponents on the ground. For those reasons, the A-10 is likely here to stay for the near future but just how many will be flying in the years to come remains unclear. So, let's all give a massive thumbs up to the United States and this video. Yes, this video. Well, if you learned a thing or two from it, might as well give it a like, right? And if you're feeling generous, subscribe to the channel and allow us to notify you when new videos are released. Thanks for watching.